versus Greninja. Um, a matchup that we see here relatively often at Xeno, I would mm -hmm. say. Um, I think on paper, Greninja does pretty well. Mm -hmm. Just the sheer mobility of the character is a huge advantage against playing a character like Mega Man, who likes limiting opponents' options. So the fact that he has so much speed means it's harder to, li you have less time to limit them, you know what I mean? Now, something that I think uh, generally differentiates King Arc from other Mega Mans is the Leaf Shield play and the mix up play from King Arc off of Leaf Shield is really unique to him. Uh, his movement and his kind of like shimmying that he does when he's in Leaf Shield is something that you really don't see from a whole lot of Mega Man, so definitely look out for that when Leaf Shield comes out. Uh, but I'm excited to see how Adi kind of learns to deal with that mix-up, and Leaf Shield is one of those moves that you kind of adapt to how the player is using it in the middle of the set. So I'm excited to see how Adi is going to be handling Leaf Shield. Ooh. Oh, that was such a smart grab right there, but at this point, about even percent between these two. However, in terms of respect of kill percent, both of these characters, if they don't get their really nice kill setups, they can kind of struggle to kill. Ooh. Speaking of a kill setup, that Nair Fair is absolutely one of them. Uh, one more of those likely will take the stock as long as it's at the ledge. And that Leash coming out. Nice jump by King Arc, recognizing that Adi was going to be doing that as well. Unsafe with the uh, up tilt, though. Down smash for Adi. And an F smash from ledge. Adi taking that. Yeah, and we actually see King Arc a little bit animated in his seat, reeling back from that one physically. And, oh, this is not how you want to spawn back in. I've already taken 53% off of a quick up air juggle. Odyssey is just attacking on more and more damage using King oh, Arc's own weapon against him. And the read him. on the landing option, looking for that back air. However, that side be very good by King Arc to cover that. But Adi right now coming out, guns blazing. Ooh, looking for that fair, looking for a jump. I was okay. So one thing is that Greninja likes to come in from this like down, you know, I don't know, forty-five degrees. Yes. From you know where the position his opponent is, and that's a zone where Mega Man kind of can a little bit struggle with. However, if he anticipates it, he has things like up air. He has things like fade back forward air. So oh, but for the most part, it feels like Odyssey is just getting around how he wants to in neutral. Right, and I, it's it's in all honesty, while while a nice stop. He just walks. He walks out. Walk. Gently. Oh, th see, that's the thing. Against Mega Man, walking is super good because you have access to your shield immediately. And Greninja is a character with a solid walk for sure. Um, and being able to kind of get past um, those pellets and just block them immediately on reaction is something that's really good for Adi. Um, I, I can see why he is walking so often. Yeah, and I think it's also a little bit of a call out that, you know, he walked all the way from Ooh. one side of the stage to the other because he knew that King Arc wasn't going to be throwing out these aggressive hitboxes. And Adi has been incredibly good so far at really calling out the landings from King Arc. A lot of those landing fairs have been getting F-smashed. Um, and that is not something that's easy to do. That is not a move that has a whole lot of lag. And Adi has done an excellent job so far. Nice little combo. Dash attack looking for an F-smash. Does not end up getting it there. However, uh, so far, Adi has looked incredibly good uh, in this game number one. Um, King Arc has been good on the edge guards, though. Let's see if he can continue that. Adi gets back. Ooh. Down air. Ooh, Mega Man just barely gets back to the stage. And, oh, but Adi is still mounting all of this pressure. 79% and growing on King Arc. He is down to his last stock here. The Crash Bomber gets transferred to him, cutting short any possible combo he could have had. And the Knuckles just goes off to visit its mother, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, uh, why do projectiles still do that in this it's, game? It's, it's certainly weird. That Knuckle, by the way, is very, very plus on block. So a tough uh, move for Greninja to deal with. The character was not great out of shield. Um, and we're going to be seeing... Oh, God. He didn't do anything for, like, three seconds. That's so scary. <laughs> Ooh, nice coming back to stage. Uh, I, we've seen King Arc start to adapt. Instead of utilizing fair to come off of ledge, uh, King Arc has now started to use uh, pellets. And that has been more difficult for Adi to deal with. However, this lead by Adi is already rather large. We're going to be seeing if um, King Arc can mount a comeback. No, the reaction by Adi was so good there. Recognizing the roll animation immediately runs up, down smashes. And you can tell that it was a reaction. Adi stopped shielding immediately there. Yeah, I will also, so it's, I feel like Adi is so good yeah. in those situations once he has Shield comes out high here. Percent. Pause. And then we're going to see, we're going to go forward a couple frames. Boom, boom. Boom, Frames take boom, a while. Boom, boom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And then if you. Oh, yeah, yeah. 10 frames ahead. Okay, the roll animation is going to start uh, eventually. Maybe. Yes. And as soon as the roll animation starts, Otter reacts and gets the down smash. You've seen it. Is he that, moves this hold way on a that second. way. Is that, was that a reaction or anticipation? That looked like a reaction to me. You think that was a reaction? What? 
That was in it. Yeah, you can't react. Because yeah. keep in mind that reaction requires about, I think it's like uh, at least 10 frames. Even yeah. for a player with Fi super good reaction. 15. Time. But you can react to, to, to the roll animation from ledge. Like, you can absolutely can do that. <laughs> oh, ah! And that's PS2, <laughs> baby. That's PS2. Um, so, yeah, uh, PS2, for those who do not know, very low blast zones uh, off the bottom. Uh, and that gets exacerbated by the uh, camera thing okay. for spikes. He was lucky that it's the lower blast zone, because otherwise he would have had to sit through like six more hard knuckles until he oh, finally yeah. died. Because I don't think King Ark would have dropped that. You saw just the dedication he had to ending Odyssey immediately. And that is quite the statement of a stock, especially after King Ark had a really rough go of it for that first game. Ooh, yeah, King Ark obviously needing a little bit of a boost after that game number one. Adi was fairly dominant uh, that game number one, and Adi now is looking for a comeback of his own. DI out on that almost ends up taking out King Ark's stock, but wow, the coverage was so good by Adi there. Using down uh, a side B to cover an early up B, and then back airing on the late one that uh, King Ark ended up doing. And back to neutral BR. Ooh, nice punish I, by Adi. I will say, it feels like once we have those sort of, oh, we're back to neutral sort of mm -hmm. moments, that's when Odyssey shines, and then he all of a sudden starts getting these really good hits in. And that's certainly, a, I think, a place where Greninja shines in general against Mega Man. Uh, Greninja can cover so much space so fast with the ground speed that this character has. And being able to do that and mix it very quickly with that burst option in dash attack is super good against Mega Man. Yeah, and I also like the idea of King Ark using his upbeat early, because if he gets hit, he still preserves his jump. Ooh. Oh, that back air is mm -hmm. going to be really good for getting Odyssey off stage. But honestly, since that first stock this game, we haven't really seen that many effective edge guards. No, and King Ark has looked kind of um, maybe even reeling a little bit. Uh, that back air into grab, going to be a nice uh, situation for King Ark to be in. <gasps> Missing a trump, that's real. <sighs> We almost saw another call out on that fair there from Adi. Oh. Yeah. Thought they, the, the crash bomb might have transferred over, ended up not doing so. I mean, in that situation, if you are Adi, it might be worth going for just a quicker, like instead of going for something that has a follow up because you know you have the crash, bar on, crash bomber on you. Ooh, and yeah. that S smash. He, uh, King Ark, that is, has been incredibly good so far. And that was actually how he took the stock versus um, Jewel in that game, number two. And Adi, once again, Excellent at catching the landings from King Ark. S smashes. These S smash calls have been excellent. Yeah, from they, ha they have been honestly carrying Odyssey. Just the recognition and the spacing have been so good. But now we're into this last stock Ooh. situation. But keep in mind, this is a last stock when King Ark started off with his zero to death. Um, but yeah, the the um. The play from Adi kind of forcing King Ark to the corners and using those meaty hitboxes that really uh, Mega Man doesn't have that, you know, Greninja does, and even if they are rather slow, meaty nonetheless, um, has really kind of proven difficult for King Ark to deal with. And Adi has kind of um, reversed the situation after a huge start from King Ark. Oh, the little bit of... Every time King Ark gets a single nick with a projectile, it might lead into something really big, but for the most part, even when Odyssey gets hit by the late hit of a metal blade or a single pellet, we're not really seeing King Ark be able to move in and be able to punish that effectively. For the most part, King Ark's hits have just been nickel and diming for the past quite a while. And that, However, that is a big opening for King Ark, that fair into grab, being rather good, missing the confirm there. Oh! Yeah, Die. that's a miss input. That's an unfortunate way to see that game end. Adi was playing so dominantly in that last stock. Um, but a, a air dodge off the stage, it's yeah. costing him big time. Yeah, however, good stuff to King Ark in order to just get that double yeah. tap. You know, like that was the sort of thing where if you just because you see your opponent mess up like that and air dodge in a situation where they didn't Ooh, mean to. Certainly meant to air dodge down to the floor there. Yeah, he would have yeah. made that back, but. And you nope. can see immediately um, that can't be Adi, Adi was kind of upset box. with himself. Um, and you could see what he was going yeah. for. It was that a two-frame. Two frame? Yeah, the Greninja grabbed the ledge right there. Boom. Wow. Excellent timing by uh, King Ark. Impressive, to say the least. All right, and now we're This is game three between these two, but I will say that it still feels like Odyssey, for the most part, has been kind of dominant. Uh, in that last game, basically, King Ark needed to get a zero to death to start the game and a unforced error in order to take the game. So... Now we're moving on here. Both these guys have adapted quite a bit, but let's see if... Oh, oh, oh Schmix! Okay, okay. That's, that's the sort of thing we hadn't really seen King Ark do. Oh, all right. Now, 
now this is the sort of in his element moment where he's able to throw out these options and start really effectively reading what Odyssey is trying to do to get out of them. Yeah, Look at this pressure. And, and like like doing that is like a huge confidence boost. Like being able to like yeah, I hit something like nasty. That's a huge confidence boost. And going back into neutral like uh, like uh, Muno. Oh. King Ogre is going to start feeling confident, and Z drop out of shield into the up tilt is going to be an excellent start for him. However, we need to keep in mind. Oh, that's plus attack. Yeah. Um, we need to keep in mind, it was a very similar situation to what we saw in game number uh, two. However, King Ark has shown uh, so far in this game number three that he has been able to handle um, Adi's aggressiveness quite a bit better. Oh, yeah, he, by putting on aggression of his own, that you know that game one stock, as you mentioned, that was kind of, a, I'm not going to say a lucky edge guard, but it was like a really big play at the start. Mm -hmm. Whereas this has just felt like continuous pressure, just well-played neutral. It, I think King Ark has finally figured out what he needs to be doing in this matchup. That being said, despite all the praise we're leveling on him, he's only managed to do about 48%, no and Adi Ooh. could take this stock at any moment with another well-placed forward smash yeah. or anything of the like. And every bit of damage is so good for Mega Man. 60% is certainly nothing to scoff at. Uh, we saw how early Mega Man was able to take a stock. However, that's going to be a uh, nice stock for Adi, getting him into a situation where he is not down by too sizable of a margin. That spacing on the grab, the very edge of it, able to connect. It didn't necessarily lead to that much, but it's it sort of, once again, that's another moment where Adi is just punishing the landing options from King Ark. Mm -hmm. And we've seen so far that, oh, that's a big punish. Oh, or ends up going, missing the dash attack there. Um, would have liked to have seen maybe even just an F smash to get that damage off. But looking for something a little bit bigger there, forcing the advantage uh, was Adi. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of those things. Uh, you know, Metal Blade gets beaten up by Pellets. Ooh, misses a turnaround. An unfortunate situation for Adi. Uh, Could have been a huge conversion oh. there. These two are just playing in each other's face right now. That Metal Blade looking to get a confirm of his own. Odyssey. Oh. So close to getting so many of these meaningful hits, but King Ark is always just a little bit far out of range. Yeah, we've been seeing King Ark play it a little bit further of a range, and it's worked out for him so far. However, Greninja does certainly have the range to match, but a grab on shield, great there for King Ark. I do just want to mention that how he... Ooh, is he going to be okay? He's okay. fine. Um, but earlier he landed a dash attack, but he grabbed the metal blade while doing it, meaning he couldn't convert it into the fair mm. afterwards, because he had to. He had the, the metal blade in his hand. There are tiny little interactions like that that, you know, when you're playing against an item character like Mega Man, you have to be prepared for. Yeah, and we've seen so far, uh, getting back to stage has certainly been something that um, King Ark has done a lot better in this game, number two. Hasn't really gotten hit by any of those landing up smashes that we've seen Adi hit. Um, ooh, huge by King Ark, getting a little bit of percent. Again, this extra credit has been so good for him. <laughs> and that's like 19 to 20 percent. That's not so little, yeah. that leaf shield. But at ooh. this point, oh, King Ark! He's Ooh. been trapped on these platforms and finally finding its mark. Odyssey has kept this neck and neck. Only about 55% on his body. Oh, this might be big edge guard. No double jump. He makes it back to stage regardless. A tough situation. Adi took a great angle there. Kind of one that was not going to be down airable. And now Adi in advantage. They almost wasting a jump was King Ark and getting caught by the bear. Just narrowly got by. Oh, the Metal Blade helping avoid King Ark taking extra, extra damage from these combos. <gasps> right as I say that, he gets trapped in it. The drag down misses his <gasps> oh, back, but doesn't God. punish. That was a down to death smash. That was a down to death smash. That would have been the end. That would have oh. been crazy nasty. And if you are Odyssey, the fact that you basically had the win in front of you and just whether because of a poor reaction or whatever just happened, that can really haunt you, especially as the as the match looks harder and harder for you to win. A whiffed grab from King Ark. Oh, there's so much spaghetti going on on both sides here. Oh, not enough to see a town and city, of course, the biggest blast zones in the game of the top, but another call up by Adi, still not enough. Oh my gosh. Oh. He just jumps on stage, a back throw to That's do it. That's enough! The side blast zones of town and city and some not ideal DI from Adi, costing him in the end. It was so smart to do the instant throw right there. With good DI, he probably could have survived that, but King Ark just got the grab and immediately threw him. Honestly, not able to react just in time. And wow, look at this. I, I can't just believe barely, that grab I, killed. I can't believe he got back onto stage with that uppy. An excellent job by King Ark. And yeah, some missed DI, I think, from Adi. I want to pause that. The, ex yeah. the excellent job here. Let, yeah, let's let's take a look here. We can sort of go. We're going. We're advancing ten frames at a time here. So as he lands here, 
I think believe he shielded, right? So the thing is that he caught the metal blade. Yeah. So when you have a metal blade in your shield, that does limit your amount of out of shield options. Yeah. And I think that uh, he was definitely aware of that. We see the shield come out and then instantly the grab here. What? I My question is, so do you think he was holding neutral or do you think he was actually holding towards the blast zone? I think there was just no DI. You uh, think there was? So you don't think that there was like DI held this? No, because he, he's he's in block. So my guess is that there was no DI. There was uh, there was no uh, DI. He at could all. have been trying to buffer a uh, a roll maybe. Because that's I don't know. That seems to me like no, the roll started. Did it? Right. Wait, wait. Let's, let's take a look at this here. No, it's just, okay, just going straight to grab. Okay, yeah. Um, and I think the rec what's really impressive about that is the recognition from King Art. Because you know Greninja, a lot of the times, lands on the floor and doesn't shield. Just starts, like, hitting hitting buttons. Um, and uh, recognizing that uh, Adi could not click a button there because he caught the metal blade was great recognition by King Arc. And saying, ah, you're kind of forced into shield here. You're at least forced into a defensive option. So I'm either going to grab and not get hit for it or... I'm going to grab you and maybe not kill you, but it ended up killing him again because of some yeah, mediocre DI. Well, it's 